everything. Share my knowledge. Let me weave you a purse. Body and nothing. Shake it and... There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Ha! Ha! to memory. So this is my Nahida's damage. Basically, uh, I can show Nahida's damage because without a proper reaction team like a uh, quick bloom team, bloom or aggravate team, something like that. So this is the best presentation of Nahida's damage. Uh, I hope you get an uh, you get a better idea. So what? How's my Nahida's looks, Mike? Nahida's strats and all and everything. How's my Nahida's looks? Okay. So my Nahida is having 788 elemental mastery here. That's a huge elemental mastery. Why? Because I'm also having a ratio maintained here. My Nahida is having 43 crit trade, 169 crit damage. I know lots of you gonna lots of you gonna say that on Nahida that ratios don't matter because Nahida's work to provide elemental mastery to others and to provide a good elemental reaction damage and elemental reaction damage. The dendro elemental reaction damage don't need crit ratio you are wrong only hyper bloom is a reaction that needs only elemental mastery and in the hyper bloom reaction only the ratio the crit ratio doesn't matter but if you use nahida as a whole you use nahida as a sub dps support or maybe a dps character you need crit ratio in order to give massive damage in aggravate spread or bloom and burgeon reaction they all need they all still need a crit a good crit ratio so maintaining both things like maintaining a good elemental mastery and a good crit ratio is very hard so i managed to get a good elemental mastery with a good crit ratio so if you use two dendro character in your team you will get around 900 elemental mastery here and i think 900 elemental mastery gonna be very very good Yes, guys. So if you're having like two dendro characters in the team with Nahida, you also using another dendro character. So you're gonna have around around 900 elemental mastery. That's gonna be very good. So guys, what I'm using as for the weapon, I'm using sacrificial fragments. Why I'm using sacrificial fragment? Because it provides the highest elemental mastery possible in the game compared to any other four star character four star weapon sorry it provides you 221 elemental mastery and that is huge it also provides you a chance to uh, 
activate elemental mastery twice uh, i don't know uh, how much how much helpful this uh, skill is gonna be but yeah it helps sometimes but never mind moving to moving forward to the artifact set i'm having deep foot memories four piece deep foot memories here again maintaining a four piece deep foot memories with elemental mastery and a crit ratio is definitely very hard but i managed to get these all the things uh, in almost three to four months so in flower i'm having a massive amount of crit damage and crit rate 23 percent crit rate crit damage and 5.8 percent crit rate here i'm having a little energy uh, energy recharge elemental mastery crit rate crit damage all of them it's basically a god roll but not a very high per percentages here i'm using the elemental mastery uh what is good in this artifact it's having attack percent energy recharge and crit rate but what's bad in this it's only have 3.8 crit rate that's that's a very uh very bad thing but for now i'm having only this single elemental mastery artifacts artifact in the deep wood memory so i simply don't have another another option here also i'm using elemental mastery this is the best like having a 27.2 percent crit damage and 6.2 percent crit rate is definitely insane i don't know why this having 6.86 percent defense here i'm using the crit damage because i need those crit damage definitely i also suggest if you're using crit circulate you can go for the elemental mastery weapon and if you're using crit weapon go for the elemental mastery circulate but don't use the same thing on both sides never use crit weapon and crit circlet on nahida always go for the vice versa situation never go for elemental mastery crit rate and elemental mastery weapon on nahida if you're having 800 elemental mastery on your nahida your nahida is going to be fine i don't think that having a more than 800 elemental mastery they're gonna make a that much huge difference so 800 elemental mastery is just fine on nahida you can then uh, focus on maintaining the crit, uh, crit ratio also so yes guys i'm not having any constellation the talents are on 6 10 8 this is my nahida it looks like this you already seen the damage and i hope you like it you have you're gonna have a better idea how to build your nahida better this is the best i can do on my nahida and i don't think there is any uh, scope for any improvement it definitely you can improve something in the crit ratio or maybe in the elemental mastery having a higher substrate elemental mastery artifacts but for now this is my final nahida now i'm waiting for bezu so, okay guys that's it for the video if you like the video you can hit the like button and share this video with your friends we'll meet in the next video till then guys bye bye take care